we have one of our sisters that decided to take out her phone and film a Karen in the parking lot. These Karens just do not stop messing with black people. I wish they would just leave us alone. Let's go ahead and roll that. Get the hell away from me. Here. I can do the same thing, Wade. I can do the same thing. I'll send it to Trump. Maybe he could do something. And then Obama could sue him. Please step off of our life. I hope you lose your job. That's not nice, but thank you. Not you, if you bet I'm not. Where you get your hair done? I haven't had it done in five years. Hey, boy, hey, boy, boy, hey, boy, hey, boy, boy. I mean, this woman in this video is certified mentally ill. I mean, seriously. I mean, she needs to be in, in somebody's institution the way she's acting. But I thought it was interesting to say she hadn't got her hair done in five years. So she's asking the black woman, you know, where she's getting her hair done. I mean, what, are you jealous of the sister? Because she's getting her hair done and you're not getting yours done, ma'am? Is that really what it is? Because, you know, the majority of the anti-black racism do come from jealousy. A lot of it is. Because every time you have a sister looking fly on anything, it's going to be people like that lady it's going to take issue with it. They get mad, but then they try to figure out a way to copy it and co-opt it. They say we are wrong. If we tell them about cultural appropriation, that's, that's what they say. But I always say, call them out when they do it, because we need to gatekeep our culture. Like everybody else gatekeeps theirs. But yeah, this woman here, like I said, she, she going to get herself hurt out here, especially dealing with people in general. Cause it's not just this woman, but it's, she can do this to somebody else. Cause usually these Karens, they would do it to everybody to a point but people are so on edge in this country right now that you, you need to leave people alone. I mean, I'm telling everybody, just leave people alone. Don't try to get into confrontations with people because people are so on edge right now in this country. They don't know if they're coming or going. There's so many different things that's going on. They got people just like this. So for, for just her overall safety, I just hope she just leave people alone. I mean, this sister was calm but somebody else may not be calm. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, who are watching throughout the world, this is what we have to deal with in America. Um, and if you decide to come to this country, especially if you have this color skin, no matter where you come from, you're going to deal with that because when they see us, they go immediately try to target us, right? You may have issues and problems in your country, but you don't have to deal with that issue and problem. And to me, when I visit your countries, that is one thing that I enjoy that I never have to have a potential of running into a camera.